much hate coming from my brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where's all this hate coming from my soul when you say you need to bow down and kiss your brother? You're not no guy, bro. You're cool, bro. Go ahead, You're not no guy. You damn near an anti bro, you talking about that, bro. You're cool, bro. Go ahead, man. How am I cool? Tell me how I'm cool. Because you is, bro. It's God, man. He's bowed down for you, man. Look how we on me. 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 Look because you are hey, king on the earth, but you don't know who you are. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, hey, okay, hey, thank you, man. Guess what? Guess what? I'm gonna do the same thing to him. Oh, oh, cool, 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 cool. That's all judge, right, Judge. Judge. Hey, judge. hey. <clears throat> all right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. I want to give double honors to the apostles. And the elders of Great Millstone, because that's one of the true from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much, you know, I just woke up, you know, from my nap, but um, I was searching up some um, videos, and um, I came across this video from this particular camp, and um. It's crazy, man. Jake. You know, we say Jake. Jake is just short, short for Jacob. You know, a descendant of Jacob. Which is the sea line of the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Now, according to the scriptures, there's two different types of Israelites. According to Romans chapter 9, verse 6, and Romans chapter 11, verse 7. You have the Israel of the Most High which are the Israelites that repent in the name of the God of Israel, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, that have faith on Yahweh Shai, that understand, you know, the scriptures, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahshai, beginning with the men that he set up, which is the apostles of Great Millstone on down. You know, you're going to have those Israelites that's going to want to do the will of the Father, you know, speaking about the men of Israel, the sons of Israel. You know, the ones that repent and teach the correct doctrine that won't sell out, that won't be under no 501c3. And then you got the other type of Israelites that's going to choose to not repent, that's going to choose not to acknowledge their heritage, their true origin and culture of being Hebrew Israelites. Instead, they're going to trust in oppression. They're going to trust in the so-called white man instead of their own people. Our people, big, our people's um, biggest problem is the fact that, you know, if it's not a so-called white man telling you something, you can't believe it. You know, the Edomites, they got to tell you something. And according to the Bible, the so-called white race, their sea line, they are the descendants of Esau Edom. They are the Edomites, according to the scriptures. And they will go into slavery, according to Bible prophecy. That's written. So let's just get some scriptures real quick. I'm trying to make this brief. Jeremiah 2 and 14, as Israel the servant. The real the real answer is no, but we had to become servants because we broke the old covenant. Therefore, the curses of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, from verses 16 through 68, came upon us as a people. That's why the siege of Jerusalem happened. That's why our women are a bunch of feminists now. And whores and, and homosexuals. That's why the men of our nation, they're homosexuals as well. You know? Just look at them. For the most part, not all of them, but the ones that want to follow the way of the heathen. Just look at them. That's what they do. They have become servants. You know, they have Stockholm Syndrome. They love their slave master. Even though he shows you countlessly time after time that he, that he fucking hates you. And that he don't want nothing to do with you. He wants to exterminate you. What do you do? You still love him. You still say God is all love. You still want to trust in his religion. Which is Christianity and Roman Catholicism as a whole. Which involves Islam. And the five major Christian denominations. Even these other philosophies of the heathen nations. Because there's 17 heathen nations according, according to the Bible. You know, after the flood, there's 18 nations in total after the flood, but there's only one chosen nation. 
which is the nation of Israel. All right. So Israel has become a homeborn slave. That's what the scriptures say. Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? The real, the, the real, the real answer is that what? That Deuteronomy twenty and forty eight. That we gotta serve our enemies for the one of all things. But with all this information that's out here to prove who we are, according to the Bible, our people still want to be in a state of ignorance because they are Stockholm syndrome. Going back to the William Lynch theory. Going back to slavery. And just really just becoming Hellenized, being in a being in a Gentile state of mind. You know, that's that's how they became homeborn slaves. You know, learning the way of the heathen, wanting to be like the heathen, trying to seek power from their enemy. You're supposed to wait on Yahweh Shah to give you that power to take down your enemy. Scriptures tell you in Proverbs um three and thirty one, I believe it is, envy envy not the oppressor. And choose none of his ways. And that's what our people do. To the point where they dye their hair blonde. I could go on and on. Proverbs 11 and 21. It says, Though, though hand join the hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. The wicked, according to Malachi 1 and 4, is the Edomites, their seed line. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Meaning what? You got our people that want to blend in and they want to get along with the Edomites and the other nations, but mainly the Edomites, you know? See, when we read out the scriptures, when we give you the description of the Lord, the description of the God of Israel, the description of the angels, the prophets, the Messiah himself, when we tell you that they're so-called black men, it's a problem now, you know? It's a problem. Y'all want to start defending white supremacy because that's all Christianity is white supremacy you want to start defending that you you even want to fight because you're ignorant so you got a lot of people your downfall is going to be wanting to follow after your oppressor you have multiple oppressors you know the 17 heathen nations but the main oppressor is the Edomites the first nation we went to war against in the scriptures you know Amalek the first grandson of Esau so the scripture is saying only the seed of the righteous going to be delivered. Meaning the elect of the nation of Israel. John 17 and 9. John chapter 10 verses 27 through 29. The ones that's been predestinated since the world began. The ones that's doing the will of the God of Israel. Through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Because without Yahweh Shai, we, we would have been at Sodom and Gomorrah. We would have been destroyed. Luke 19 and 27, but those my enemies, which two-thirds of the nation of Israel, their enemies to the Lord. Why? Because they're not down for the cause, according to the scriptures. They want to love their oppressors. They want to follow the way the heathen. They want to set us up, you know, by being FBI agents, CIA agents, you know, bear false witness against us. They want to set us up. They want to stop this truth. You even got our own people that say that we're racist and what we teaching is wrong. We teaching hate. But what about what the so-called white man and the other nations display to you? And their actions told you. What about that? What about the racism that you experienced since you came out the womb, which is the curses? You know, what about that? Why are you defending people that hate you? It says, which would not that I shall reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. That's literally what's going to happen. The Lord is going to slay two-thirds of the nation of Israel by the way of these different plagues, death, famine, you know, martial law. When, when the executive order 13603 kicking, ultimately the nuclear missiles, and the Lord is going to come back himself and destroy the remaining two-thirds of the nation of Israel. That's what's going to happen. This is Isaiah 30 and 12. Wherefore does say, Let's say it the Holy One of Israel because you despise this word. And that's what they do. How you going to tell your own people that they racist? That sounds stupid. You going to tell your own people that they racist? How stupid can you be? How stupid can you sound? Even saying some, something like that. It doesn't make sense. You despise this word. You hate your own culture. You hate your own heritage. You hate who, what you was born to be. You got a problem with it. We telling you you're the greatest people on earth. 
The covenant is for you. The whole world has lied to you. Your school has lied to you. You know? People, our people has been deceived for hundreds of years. Here we telling you the truth and you're going to despise the only great thing that we have. Stupid asses. And trust and oppression and imperviousness and stay there on. That's what the hell y'all do. Y'all love protecting white supremacy. Y'all literally, two-thirds of the nation of Israel are vanguards for the new world order. That's what they are. To the point where you even got groups like the Boulay. It's ridiculous. Therefore, this sin, you know, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. Soiling out in a high wall who's breaking coming suddenly at an instant. That's what's going to happen to you, you Israelites that's going to choose not to repent. You don't want to acknowledge your nationality. You know, you want to trust in oppression. You're in the spirit of we're all human, we all bleed red. You're in that stupid spirit. What's going to happen is this global economic collapse is going to destroy you. Literally, it's going to destroy you. You're going to have a whole bunch of questions. And none of them is going to be answered when that time comes. Because it's going to be a famine, a famine of the word. According to Amos chapter 8 verses 11 and 12. So keep thinking shit is a game. It's not going to be a game when you're starving. You know, when your stomach is biting. You can't go to work no more. You know, you got kids to feed and you can't feed them. And they're like, daddy, I'm hungry. No, mommy, I'm hungry. The Lord got something for two-thirds of the nation of Israel. As well as you proud Americans in general. Zechariah 13 and 8. It says, And it shall come to pass in an all land, meaning anywhere Israel has been scattered, it's going to come to pass that in all the land, save the Lord, two parts therein, meaning 66.6% of the nation of Israel is going to be destroyed. Why? Because they're unbelievers. They want to follow the way of the heathen. They want to trust in oppression. They despise his word. Therefore, they're going to be destroyed. According to Proverbs 13 and 13, two parts of them shall be cut off and die. That's what's going to happen to y'all. See, at the end of the day, according to Ezekiel 33 and 33, you want to know that a prophet has been among you. All of you, all of you two-thirds of the nation of Israel, that you came across the um, Hebrew Israelite camps, you got a problem with what we say. You're going to know that we the men of the Lord. Beginning with the apostles of Great Millstone on down to brothers like myself. You know, the sincere brothers. You're going to know in that day that you've been around a prophet. So all this giggling and stupid shit that you want ain't going to be funny when that global economic collapse happens. When the stock market crash, when all these government benefits are truly gone, when you can't go to work no more, then there's not going to be no more giggling. And the third is talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. Because when you read Revelation, the seventh chapter, you're going to have 12,000 from each tribe be delivered. 12,000 prophets, men, be delivered. But then you're going to have the one-third, which consists of the prophets, you know, friends, family, helpers of the prophets, you know, their wives, their kids, so forth and so on. And this is the ending message. Luke 13 and 3. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. And that's, that's what we're trying to tell y'all before it's too late. Before the internet shut down, before martial law come. If you don't repent, you're going to perish, meaning you're going to be destroyed. The Lord has very crafty ways of destroying anything. So hopefully this was um, edifying. You know, death to the two-thirds of the nation of Israel. Any, any so-called black, Hispanic... A Native American Indian man, woman, or child that despises this word. All right, Shalom. When I say child, I'm talking about 12 and up, which really is a man anyway. Shalom.